Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily, not daily, excuse me. Welcome to your weekend love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for May 7th through the 10th. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, full clarity and guidance. What love messages do we have for my Sagittarius, please? For May 7th through the 10th, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, full clarity and guidance. What love messages do we have for my Sagittarius, please? May 7th through May 10th. All right, my loves, I hope everybody is staying happy, healthy, and safe. So let's go ahead and get started here. Um, guys, if you are currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button. Um, I do choose winners every week for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, palo santo, sage, jewelry. Um, so it's a lot of fun. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced, okay? I am still only taking emergency readings um, due to high demand, okay? So the link is below if you need me. Um, in the description box below, you'll also find my Instagram, my new channel, Divine Spirit Healing 1111. There's a bunch of stuff down there for you guys to check out, okay? Now, guys, let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle message. So, Sag, keep in mind that this could be um, your energy or it could be your person's energy, all right? Very interesting energy. So, Sag, if you're the one going through this, I am sorry, okay? But um, I feel like there's a lot of people that you may be talking to, or this could be you or your person. Someone here is talking to a lot of people. They have a lot of offers, and... Um, I feel that there may be communication from someone like, listen, you need to make a decision. Do you want to be with me or do you not want to be with me? Do you want to commit to this connection or do you not want to commit to this connection? Because due to the fact that someone here is more focused on their options than on this connection, it's causing a major imbalance, right? You know, a, a level of sneakiness or cheating. But this is because someone is undecided about what they really want. So now what ends up happening is karma kicks in okay so this person leaves this person walks away and you may find somebody that you really want to be with and that person is going to turn you down okay so there's there's a level a sense of karma here that's being played that's being played out so because you know you shut the door on somebody who truly wanted to commit to you that six of wands popped out twice so someone here has a lot of pride a lot of ego um someone here may not have wanted to commit to somebody that truly loved them sag this could be your partner this could be you i don't know but someone here didn't want to commit to somebody who truly loved them and you know out of all these options now they fall for one person and they want to you know move forward with this person and this person rejects them so here we have the nine of pentacles wanting to be single wanting to be independent wanting to do whatever it is that we want to do so that could be your energy sag could be your person's energy all right Spirit, what messages do we have for my Sagittarius, please? Ooh, storm warning just popped in. Okay, all tied up. Yeah, all tied up. Someone here is having maybe a lot of anxiety, very much stuck in their head. We've got negative attachment. Yeah, someone here is in a very bad attachment here. Okay, there could be a lot of lying, a lot of cheating, a lot of deception. Yeah, see a third party situation. Someone here has their eye on everybody and everything but their person. Okay. And, you know, yin and yang, it could be a soulmate that this person is neglecting. So, you know, that could be you, Sag. It could be your person. Okay. Money, of money, um, excuse me, door to value money. Listen to me. Someone here is not valuing a soulmate connection. They're focusing on third parties. They're focusing on other people. Why? Because they are undecided. They are undecided. And it is creating this, this wanting to look at all their possibilities and options is creating a lot of hostility here. Okay. So let's see, guys. So we've got make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So someone here is showing a lot of love and a lot of stability. Here we have attraction and love yourself first. While this person is thinking of only themselves and they're not really caring about anything. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. So this person, to enjoy a moment fully, you have to just not care about anything. They're, they're just, they don't care. They're putting themselves first. One person here is totally 
focused on just themselves. That's it. This person here is trying to provide love. They're making the effort. They're trying to provide safety and security. And this person doesn't care about anything. So here we have the Five of Swords, the Empress, and the Moon. Pisces, Cancerian energy. Aries, Taurus, Libra energy. So this person is giving up. This person is done putting work in. This person is done trying to make the effort. This is an empress for crying out loud. You can have all the options in the world. Nobody is better than an empress. You understand what I'm saying? And this empress is not, you know, an empress does not waste her time. Gender doesn't matter, guys, okay? Someone here is throwing down their swords and they're like, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I'm over this now. I've been putting all the work in all by myself. I've been trying to create. I've been trying to grow. And with the moon card here, I don't know where this is going. It, like there's secrets. I know there's things happening behind my back. I give up. I just want, you know, I'm giving up, right? It's safe for you to love. We've got the five of cups, the queen of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and the sun. Yeah, even though it breaks this person's heart, even though it breaks this person's heart, this person is in deep mourning. Could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, could be Leo. Um, this person really wanted to provide love and happiness. They wanted to provide joy in this person's life, stability, nurturing, kindness. But, you know, someone here just doesn't care. You know, someone here really wanted to build, create, give love, give happiness, bring joy. Um, but they're giving up. Someone here is just giving up, okay? Now, under attraction here, we have the Two of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, someone here with the Two of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Ten of Cups, someone here doesn't know. They know they have to make a decision, right? But they don't know what decision to make. They, they want to be clear on who their Ten of Cups is. And because of this, they're just in this very nonchalant attitude, okay? Very nonchalant attitude. Um, with that Two of Swords, they're just... They know eventually they have to make a decision, but they're guarding. The, the truth of the matter is this person is actually guarding themselves, pushing themselves away from making a decision on their Ten of Cups, on having happily ever after here. With Love Yourself First, we've got the Three of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the Devil, Capricorn Energy. Yeah, this person is just working on themselves. They're very undecided. They're very in and out. And with that Devil card here, I feel like this person, you know, just worries about their own wants, their own needs. I'm getting a level of this person is just chained to being selfish and wanting to do whatever it is that they want to do. Do you understand what I'm saying? If they want to juggle two people, three people or more or whatever, this person just wants to do whatever it is that they want to do. They can have a sex addiction possibly, but this person is cutting out. They're not interested. The truth is, is that this person just isn't interested in having a commitment. They're just not. All right. Um, so let's see what we have here. Spirit, tell me about the five of swords, please. Spirit, tell me about the five of swords. Temperance, Sagittarian energy. So someone here has been waiting patiently. They really have. They've been very, very patient. They brought a, a sense of healing, of love to the connection. Very patient, but they're giving up. They're giving up. Tell me about this empress. Eight of cups. This empress is walking away, leaving the building. The moon card. Queen of Wands, Leo Sagittarius energy. This Empress knows that there's other women or other men in the picture. They know. They Their intuition is telling them that there's other people in the picture. Tell me about the Five of Cups, the Hermit, Virgo energy. And as much as it hurts with that Five of Cups, they have to withdraw. They have to withdraw and move away from this. Tell me about the Queen of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. This is a soulmate. The Wheel of Fortune in a, low, in a love reading is destiny. It's, it's a soulmate energy. This is the person that this person is destined to be with. Okay. This is the person that this person is destined to be with. And because they're not recognizing it, because they're not acknowledging it, this person, when it comes time for them to fall in love and they choose somebody, they will then be rejected. Tell me about the sun card. We've got the fool. Yeah. Someone here is starting to realize that they need to set themselves free because they are an empress and they're dealing with fool energy. You understand? And with that devil card and the star, this person just wants to wreak drama. They just want to create havoc. They want to cheat. They want to lie. They want to be deceptive. This person just doesn't want to commit. Okay. They don't want to commit. Um, they want to follow their addictions. Spirit, tell me about this two of swords, please. Nine of Swords. Yeah, this person gets nervous. They get anxiety when they get forced to make a decision. This person is not trying to make a decision anytime soon about anything. Tell me about the Ace of Swords, please. 
The five of swords. Yeah. This person sees the truth of the matter. They see that they that that you're giving up here or that someone here is giving up. They see it. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. This person sees it. This person sees that they're being cut out. And guess what? They don't really care. Like, they, maybe they do care with that Nine of Swords. Maybe at night it hits them a little bit, okay? But at the end of the day, they're not going to show you that. They're going to show you that they don't care, okay? This person sees that the truth of the matter is, is that, you know, they have to make a choice. They're not going to make the choice. And because they're not willing to make the choice, they're going to lose you. They may feel it with that Nine of Swords, but they're not going to, they're, they're, they're going to they're get over it quickly. They, they don't, you know, they're not going to, like, die. Tell me about the nine, the three of pentacles, please. The chariot, Cancerian energy. Yeah, this person only chooses themselves. They they move forward in victory in just worrying about themselves. Tell me about that two of pentacles. The ace of pentacles. So here we go. Now this person, this is the new beginning. This is this is this person choosing somebody. Now this person realizes that they've lost you, whatever. They're focusing on themselves. And now they come into this energy of, wow, you know what? I've decided to, to drop one of my pentacles here and just focus on one pentacle, right? I'm just going to focus on one pentacle. Tell me about this devil card. The king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy um i feel like this person is going to want to commit now to this new person but with this devil card uh i feel that karma is going to come and bite them in the butt three of cups yeah i feel that karma is definitely going to bite them in the butt judgment card here yeah Now, this could be that this person decides to come in and reconcile for some of you, but it's sitting on top of that devil card, ten of wands. And the ten of cups. No, you see, they're releasing their ten of cups. They're releasing their ten of cups. This is interesting. So they choose somebody. They choose a new beginning here. And on top of this devil card, we've got the king of pentacles, the three of cups, which could mean that this king of pentacles wants to come together with somebody. They've made a final decision that they want to, you know, propose to somebody, get married to somebody. But with that Ten of Wands and that Ten of Cups, maybe the person that they're choosing is going to drop them. Because I, I, heard, I felt that very strongly in the pre-shuffle. Tell me more about this Ten, uh, excuse me, tell me more about this Devil card, please. The Magician, Virgo, Gemini, Energy. And the four of wands so this devil now is trying to manifest they're trying to manifest a, a home a marriage they're trying to manifest a happily ever after for themselves they're trying to manifest happiness but with that ten of look they got the ten of wands and the five of cups it's not going to they're not going to get it they're not going to get it this is what I was feeling in the pre-shuffle, you see? You know, so this person here, this empress is leaving. They realize that this empress is leaving, okay? They realize that this empress is out. So they move forward, they go on, and they decide to choose one person that they want to be with. But I feel that that devil is karma here because... That it's not manifesting. They're trying to manifest a, a deep committed relationship, happiness, marriage, happily ever after. But with that Ten of Wands and that Five of Cups, it's not coming together. It is not coming together. They are going to be rejected. You see that Four of Cups? They are going to be rejected. Yeah, that's what I felt in the pre-shuffle. All right, so let's see here. So we've got friends and colleagues, and we've got family. Yeah, someone here is going to choose somebody, maybe a friend, a colleague, somebody that they were seeing, and say, listen, I want to have a family with you. I want to marry you. I want to get together with you, but it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And this person here is going to end up going from being really, really hurt, a victim mentality. Why don't they love me back? Why, why is this happening? To happy and successful. So this person is going to move on, and this person is going to reap success, and this person 
is not going to achieve the family life or whatever it is that they're trying to do. They're not going to achieve it because they didn't acknowledge that this was their soulmate. The challenge here is the seven of wands and um, what's crossing it is the king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy because this person did not um, work on overcoming the challenges here on being committed on being stable i feel that with that four of pentacles and the ace of wands they will not they will be withheld from starting a new relationship with re, the relationship the ace of wands talks about talks about starting something new new passion new adventure new travel moving forward with that four of pentacles it's going to be withheld from them so because this person didn't work on this connection they didn't work on being stable they didn't work on being committed they didn't overcome the challenge Challenges with the person that they were destined to be with now this person is being withheld from moving forward <clears throat> this person is being withheld from moving forward so i don't know sag what side you fall on but that's the case here all right guys i love you and i'll see you tomorrow